what's up you guys after two reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more titans this is season four episode five um how are we all going good bad only okay let me know all right well let's get into the episode wow look over there it's empty hallway again why don't you say all clear one more time? It was really such a delightful phrase. It's so obvious Dick's putting me on ice. Everyone with no skills, go hide behind the monitor. Do you think if this season, like no if offense. this got a fifth season, do you think they would have introduced Damien? Alternative take? Dick knows that being a super involves deep commitment and sacrifice. He just needs to know it's what you want before you jump in. For what it's worth, I believe in you. You'll know your moment when it comes. What? In Gotham, it felt like I was on the ground, making a difference. And I'm just dodging VR nunchucks. It's like they're on the PS5 and I'm stuck on the Wii. Okay, that actually was really offensive. And I worked hard on those wait, nunchucks. Wait, wait. Do you have any experiments here that involve snakes? No. Wasn't it a snake that killed Lex Luthor? Yes. Tim, no. Come on. Let people know. Tim. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Get him. Catch it like it's second. First gen Pokemon reference. You really are a geek. Thank you. I'm so ready for some action. I'm telling you. Go, go, go. Be careful, you don't want to be part of that tribe. You know what I'm doing. thing was enormous. It went by the door and then we lost it on the monitor. But we definitely saw it in the north hallway. Whew. I'm going to have a lifetime of nightmares now. I would be bathing in that thing's digestive enzymes if it weren't for Tim. I should have tried to kill it. That would have been a bad idea. For a fatal one. This is magic. We're in Jinx's world now. What's your take on this? A snake's that crazy lady's signature move, right? Could have been the same snake that killed Lux. How did the snake get inside of Star Labs? We have every inch of this place covered. It doesn't matter now, does it? The point is that it's here. And Mommy's gonna use that snake to get what she really wants. Which is Sebastian. So how do we stop this thing? I am gonna have to consult the only person capable of handling a snake of this magnitude. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Jinx, focus, please. Okay, okay. It's magic versus magic, right? So if you catch this thing, I will magic your little snake. So not little. And I will magic your enormous snake. Happy now? Make cowboy boots out of the thing for all I care. Let's find it. You know about magic. My guild card came in the post last week. <sighs> this is gonna sound crazy. A tree of bones tried to talk to me. Well, tried or did? Did. This tree of bones happened to be under a red sky? Yeah. That place has a name. The Red. Underwhelming <laughs> and unoriginal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What else do you know? Not much, really. Just rumors. It's a place of great power and mystery. You know, rumory stuff. It's really starting to freak me out, Jinx. I don't know why I keep seeing it or what it wants from Ugh. me. Gah, can't you see that this is a gift? Sometimes you just have to go in blind and figure it out. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey, buddy. You all right? Oh, my God, with no. Oh, God. He found a dead guy. The snake ate his face off. Guys, this is really bad. Be careful. You do not want to mess with this thing. I'm sensing a theme here. Dick really needs to talk to someone about the Titans merchandising. Like, I can barely find a mug. <laughs> hey, how's You're it You're not going? wrong. <laughs> oh, everything's totally fine. Dick asked me to take over for you, Rachel. He figured you could use a break. Okay, that's nice of him. Um, do you want anything, like chips or something? Yeah, okay. And don't play Monopoly without me. It is going to be... Super, yeah. Take your time. So if the prophecy is right... So we should all just do what this picture says? Look, we've had it worse with Rachel. We'll do the same thing with Sebastian. What if Sebastian is not Rachel? Like... 
Hey, do you guys have like five dollars? What the hell are you doing? Why are you patrolling my sodium intake now? Where's Sebastian? In the silo with Connor, like you wanted. We wanted? Yeah. You sent him there to give me a break? What's going on? I thought that it was safer for me at the silo. It was. But Dick thinks there's an even safer place for you. I'm taking you there now. So where is it? Nearby, outside. We just need to leave Star Labs. Actually, uh, look, I would feel a lot better if we could just go back to the silo. Or I, I can go back myself. I bet Dick wouldn't even mind. But you can't. Everybody's waiting for you. Who? The Titans. My son. Oh, my God. You get more beautiful every time I see you. I would never take you by force. You already know the words. I'm here to warn you. Do not trust the Titans. They mean to harm you, to see you die. Connor? What's going on? Dick? Just walk away. Why don't we take a minute to sit down and just cool off a little bit? I feel perfectly cool, Dick. But when I told you to walk away, I meant it. Oh, Jesus. Connor, stop! Yeah, I, I, I see her value. Look, this shit isn't magic, okay? Well, technically it is, but what I mean is we've only got three minutes until this guy is up and at it again. I know that was a close call, but we will protect you. Is that really true, though? Because I obviously wasn't safe at Star Labs, and that woman told me I wasn't safe with you either, that I was going to get killed. Yes, you weren't safe, which is why I got you the hell out of there. <laughs> we will figure this out, I promise. Hey, it'll be all right. You can trust Corey with your life. I do. I know you have questions. We do too. We just need to buy some time to get some answers. I'll go diner. Okay, universe. We hear you. Who's in the mood for pancakes? Hey, Dick. Sorry about before. I guess things got a little heated. Is he pregnant? That's an understatement. What do you say we take these cuffs off? The kryptonite stays on. That's disappointing. Don't worry about that. Jesus. Uh, don't resist. We all keep fighting and fighting. Maybe, maybe now's the time to let go. <sighs> <laughs> What's the matter, you're scared? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just not seeing how a milkshake is going to save my life. Isn't there somewhere else we can go, like a, a witness protection thing or, or a different country? I've always wanted to go to Bimini. Just give me a second. There we go. Coriander. Zadira. You brought us here. Why? We don't have much time. We have located Sebastian. Where? A place that none of us can reach. You're not safe here. Not until you gain enough power for the coming war. Trigon. I know. Are you done? I see I'm still not allowed to interrupt. You were always a wise pupil. Keep it that way. Pupil? I'll fill you in later. There's no time. The shield around this place will only last so long. And the evil woman must certainly come to claim what is hers. She's talking about me. Don't listen to her. You're not hers. She is. That is precisely the problem. And the forces working with Trigon will stop at nothing to assure his ascension. Not if Sebastian has a say. And he doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to. He won't be able to resist his destiny. We just have oh, to keep him safe until the blood moon passes. This naive optimism is touching. And from where is this source? The cult's book. We found it. It details the prophecy. He can only rise to power while the blood moon is still in the sky. And what makes you think that you can save him from his mother? When you barely understand your capabilities, let alone your responsibilities to people of Tamarin. I owe them nothing. I fulfilled my mission. Rachel defeated Trigon. The prophecy was denied, as will this one. You did nothing to change the girl. Change was already in her. You were merely a spectator to Destiny Run in its course. That's not true. You know, we don't have to listen to her. We can just leave. Do so at your own peril. But you know you won't be able to protect them. I can't save anyone on an empty stomach. Trigon, you're here. 
Oh, wait, thank you for heating me. Ah, uh, no, she's got eyebrows. They're just like painted over. I can see them. That's not true. I love none more than I love you. I'm sorry. I never meant to place anyone above my lord. I understand. Someone always pays. I'm so scared. I understand. We're not going anywhere. I want you to hear me. We're gonna save you. You save me. Wait, 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 wait. Where have I heard that before? Oh, right. <laughs> Why don't we just ask Hank? That's what you said to him, right? Right before he died, right? Put him on there. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Listen, we gotta get that thing out. Tell me you got something. That's no sake. That is a curse. So we need a magical expulsion, which I've never done before. And if it goes wrong, well, uh, I think you can guess. But for it to work, I'd need my blue ash. It's from the ground-up teeth of a Baba Yaga, a John Constantine special. Constantine. Then we go with that. We have no choice. I can't. Why? Well, because we need to get close enough to that snake to fight it directly, and we can't rouse its defenses. It's a total fortress. Then how do we get in the fortress? The Trojan horse. The man on the inside. We need something small enough to get into his body and stay undetected. Like a virus? But a virus smart enough to target only the snake. What? You understand I don't want to do this. You must be strong for both of us. You forgave me for what I did to you. And you've been by my side since. Despite everything. Loyal, trustworthy. Your strength has guided me through the darkest times. And now it is time to bring Sebastian to his rightful place. I will honor your sacrifice forever, I swear. Well, I mean, loyal to the end, I guess. Okay, here's the big idea. I turn into a virus. Any questions? I have plenty. Let's start with the basics. I thought you could only turn into animals. Well, technically, Niles Calder said that I could unzip and rearrange my DNA into anything as long as it has DNA. And viruses are actually the most primordial form of DNA, so technically That's it should work. That's cheating. Should? Theoretically, uh, the idea would be that Gar's virus becomes a carrier agent for Jinx Blue Ash. So Gar, as a virus, gets inside Connor's body, replicates, infects the snake, and boom! Connor lives. What about Gar? What? If Connor dies, so does Gar. A virus can't live outside a dead host. And? There's more. And we haven't exactly figured out an exit strategy for me once I'm actually in Connor's body, so I could kind of get stuck. Here we go. This won't work. Not that I care. It will. He just needs to replicate. He's doing it. And now he needs to surround it. Come on. Are you casting a spell? No, I'm praying. He's there. All right. Now he just needs to infect the snake. It should only take a couple of seconds. His vitals are plummeting. V said, it's his heart. Um, we need adrenaline. Chip! <laughs> okay, he did it. Now all we need to do is figure out how to get Gar out of <laughs> Oh, God. What the hell is happening? They love to just, like, have Gar blood splattering everywhere this season. Fake out. It's really gar. Never mind. Looks like all that training paid off. You okay? Yes. <laughs> Good. What is that? Do you see? Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Who's gonna eat that? Well, you're not anymore. Look at them. Thick as thieves. Well, he had no family. Rachel knows what he went through. Yes, and her past blinds her to the truth, but yours illuminates it. Remember your training. Order and chaos. Order must rise to meet. 
What are you doing? You will employ your powers to save the girl, but not to stop the destruction that he will bring. He will bring the end of days. I've seen it, and you must too. I wanted. I wanted Great. Dick and Cory. What did you do? Say it. Admit what he is. We need to get out of here now. She has seen what your fate is. What the monster will do if he's not stopped. Your destiny was sealed in the stars long ago. You were never meant to save Sebastian. You were born to kill him. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. The blood man is upon us. If you don't kill him now, that is the fate that awaits you. Do you want to lose all your friends? Do you want the entire world swallowed whole because you insist on defending a stranger? Kill me, aren't you? Cory, no. Now is the time, Coriander. My entire past has been a gigantic lie. Why should I trust anything you're saying? I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you can go. The decision is yours. Beware the consequences. Good riddance. Uh -oh. Rachel, Sebastian, get back. It's me you want. I don't want people dying for me. Oh, Klaus. Thank you. For being kind to me, Rachel. Razara. Sebastian, no. Metrion. Zenthos. Uh-oh. You were right. You're gonna have to be more specific. About what you said earlier. I know my moment when it came. Yeah, and hey, you were incredible. That snake didn't stand a chance. Mm. That's not my moment. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, I think we have some action here. Yes, all right, look. This looks like a... Looks like maybe a foot. Better be more than a foot. Come on, buddy. Shark? Now that was a wild ride. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, it was. Good to have you back. How's Connor? He's all healed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And. Now we're doing this. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Mark, I'm hot. I feel like an idiot. I have a little more to put All right. Well, it seems like we're doing brother blood. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. 
Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this, very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Decent episode. Uh, we weren't able to keep him safe for the whole 24 hours. Goddamn. Um, yeah. Um, I thought it was sweet, you know, Raven and, and class talking together and... I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was sweet. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one.